Hello guys and welcome back again to the channel. On today's video, we will be looking at this newly updated plugin from Analog Obsession. This is Frank version 2. As you can see, there's now oversampling. But really, Frank is about four different EQs that's been put together, which he took each part from the vintage EQs that's really revered. As you can see, the bottom end is Helios type, which is known for great filters. And the low end is also a putter and the mid is API, and the Neve is being used for the high, which everybody know Neve as COK top end. And the filters here, which is the low pass filter, is also from Portec, but that's only attenuation, so you're not actually able to boost. So let's go ahead and actually try this on this drum kit. As you can also see here on the input, he has added some uh, custom line amp, which you can use to saturate the signal, and that has got uh, auto gain compensated you've now got your output to set it how you want it to sound be it plus or minus so let's have a listen As you can see, while we're on 5 dB boost, this is actually showing 2.5. So you don't really have to rely solely on the number that's been shown on this. So just rely on your ears and see how much you're boosting. But let's just leave it at 4 because I feel like there is where I was getting the sound I want for this. So as you can see, when this is on, the drum kit actually sounds a lot more fatter and a lot more round. And once this goes off, it sounds thinner. Let's go ahead and uh, use some of the saturation on that custom line amp. This mid-range is centered at 1.6k and the high is centered at 12 kilohertz. This is a chef, obviously, as you can see the sign there. So I've actually got an idea. Let's go ahead and send this to a boss and use that to actually dirty it up. And then let me make this pre-fader. Let's go ahead and throw in another frank and use just this. Let's see where we go. So let me go ahead and blend that into the original now. Let's pull it all the way down and listen to it with the original and try to blend a bit of that crunch in. Bearing in mind we've already got a bit here, let me actually back that off so we get cleaner sound on the main signal. So 
So let me go ahead and bypass them so we can hear what we started with. So as you can see, this has really added a lot more body and a lot more weight to this drum kit. This is also good for vocals, especially this top end because Neve is known for silky smooth top end, as I said before. Go ahead and try this plugin. You can obviously put the uh, oversampling on by hitting this. Bearing in mind that this plugin is free, but if you intend using it, please support his uh, Patreon so he can keep making awesome plugin like this. So go ahead and try it and leave me a comment down below what you think about it, because to me, I think this is really awesome, but I would like to hear from other producers alike. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new contents. Support the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.